Hey, welcome to my workshop. One of my today's projects required this specific gouge, uh, but it was in really, really bad shape because I didn't restore it since I bought this antique set of gouges. So this is my opportunity today to show you that even me, who doesn't have very expensive tools, can fix this gouge from the really, really bad shape to really, really good shape in about eight minutes. Here we go. To start the process, you still need to have some kind of a gear. And what I was using to repair a lot of, a lot of things already, uh, this is an expensive uh, diamond stone. So this was like, it's literally one stone that was on a plastic that fell apart. Uh, so I put it on a piece of MDF and now it's really, really sturdy and it's uh, pretty much uh, working as new. And a little bit of sandpaper and one dowel. You also need a little bit of stropping, so it's a piece of leather, green compound, and that's it. The whole process took me roughly eight minutes. So here we go. As I already mentioned, my gouge was in a really, really bad shape. The edge was not only surface rusted, luckily not pitting, but its geometry was all over the place. So to fix it, you can simply flatten the edge on the coarse stone. As it's really small gouge, it took almost no time to get to the state where I can see the a blunt edge across the curve which means it's time to do some actual sharpening. Now, there are probably jigs to do it precisely, but I'm cheap, so I'm trying to do everything freehand. Surprisingly, it's not that hard, <laughs> even that gets super precise angle, well, does anybody, but it will work in the end. For this gouge, I picked an angle that I thought would be correct, and I probably should have measured this more carefully and start grinding uh, with the rotating motion. Uh, for as long as you have reasonably stable hands, you can really do it, there's no problem. Uh, from what I heard in another YouTube video, you need to focus more on the sides of the curve, while the middle part, as it has the most contact with the surface, uh, will get sharpened as a result. As soon as I felt burr on the inside part of the gouge, it means that the first step of sharpening is done and I need to refine the edge on the finer stone. However, I don't really yet trust myself and cheat by removing the burr using fine sandpaper, a uh, thousand and then two thousand and a tiny dowel. I do it every time I sharpen the outside bevel. It's not that great and some say that this part is wrong and may result in a more brittle edge, uh, but for me it's the only way to actually ensure that I got to the edge on the finer stone. If there is an old burr, I would have no idea that I have sharpened to the edge on the finer stone or it's still the kind of old burr. After this small distraction, a finer stone sharpening. This was even faster process as only a tiny amount of metal needs to be removed and even fine diamond plate I have is quite quite aggressive. And with my cheating method, as soon as I felt burr all around the edge, it took me really a few rounds. Uh, the first time I felt it only on half of the edge and then on the second time it actually felt everywhere. Uh, so the stone part of the sharpening is done. And if I take care of my gouge, <laughs> uh, then I may not ever need to see that stone again. So moving forward. I again needed to refine the back edge, as I already honed to with the 1000 grit sandpaper, I only actually used 2000 grit to carefully hone to remove all the traces of the burr on this side at this stage, uh, and overall polish the edge. Uh, this literally takes a few seconds. And the ultimate stage, stropping. Uh, for the bevel side, I simply use my flat strop, which is just a piece of leather attached to an MDF with a bit of green compound. And this part uh, literally takes a few seconds, maybe 10 seconds, 20 seconds, to get to a very, very shiny edge. To polish the backside, just take another piece of leather with a compound and just carefully po polish the backside. I sometimes use double, sometimes don't, and both, me uh, both methods work. You may need to repeat this strapping on front and back sides a few times to completely remove the burr, so the edge will become really, 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 really pretty. So now this gouge is really, really, really sharp, if you can see. It's very shiny. I may have messed up with the angles a little bit, uh, but it's really shiny, really, really shiny. I can prove that it's working on a tiny, tiny project. I just pick a random piece of wood and then... Anyhow, here you go. Very sharp gouge, eight minutes. You can do it, do it. <laughs> 